Okay. Uh, so wet mass of silver chloride can be prepared by the reaction of uh, silver nitrate. Um, with uh, calcium chloride. So we're given that this is a 100 mil, 100.0 mils of 0 0.20 molar, and we've got 100.0 mils of <clears throat> 0 0.15 molar. And these are reacting to form uh, calcium chloride. I'm going to shift this down a smidge. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Um, or sorry, not calcium chloride. Uh, silver chloride as a solid and um, calcium nitrate. And now um, we're going to need <clears throat> two of these to balance the chlorines, two of these to balance the silvers, and then that looks good. That looks balanced now. And so um, that means that <clears throat> our, uh, we're in a, a two to one mole ratio here. So uh, first of all, we need to figure out how many moles we have and how many moles we need. So here, uh, so we can get our moles for AgNO3 as um, 0 0.20 moles per liter times our 100 mils, 100.0 mils, uh, times one liter per thousand milliliters. So that'll cancel the mils, the liter, and leave us with moles. Uh, so that comes out to be 0 0.020 moles. <clears throat> um, all right, and then so we can do the same thing for calcium chloride, which is 0 0.15 moles per liter times 100 mils times one liter per a thousand mils. <clears throat> so that'll cancel the mils and the liters, giving us 0 0.015 mole. Okay, so uh, we've got an excess here because we only need, for every two moles of silver nitrate, we need one of calcium chloride. So that means that, um, and calcium chloride uh, used is just um, the amount of moles of silver nitrate over two, right? As there, as we need two moles of silver nitrate per calcium chloride, so that would be um, zero point zero two zero over two which is 0 0.010 moles. So um, we only need 0 0.010 moles of calcium chloride, but we've got 0.015, so we just, that the rest of it will be excess. Um, okay, so now that we've figured out uh, which one will actually give us useful products. Uh, we can figure out how much silver chloride is remaining. So since uh, silver nitrate is being used in its entirety, um, and if we look at the equation here, these two are at a one-to-one -one ratio. So that means the number of moles of AgCl is equal to the number of moles of AgNO3.
which is equal to 0 0.020 moles. And now that's how many moles of AgCl we produce. Um, so then, um, then the mass of AgCl is going to be the, the moles over the molar mass. To get the molar mass, <clears throat> it's just going to be the molar mass for silver plus that for chlorine, which um, if we look it up is just 107.8682. Plus um, 35.453, which comes out to be uh, 143.3212 grams per mole. And so our mass of silver chloride is 0 0.020 moles over 143.3212 grams per mole. Uh, oops, I did this the wrong way. <laughs> My bad. The biggest reason to pay attention to the units is if you, um, oh yeah, if you make a mistake like this, then you, uh, it easily shows out. So. <laughs> It'll be the molar mass uh, over the moles. Uh, and I did it wrong again. Uh, it'll be the amount of moles times the molar mass. So it'll be. Uh, that's 143.3212 grams per mole times 0 0.020 moles. So the moles will cancel, leaving you with grams, uh, which comes out to be 2.866 grams or uh, 2.9 grams with significant figures. So that's the amount of that's the mass of silver chloride prepared, and it also asks what the concentrations of each ion remaining in solution after precipitation is complete. So what ions do we have in solution? Um, well, we have uh, just looking through now. So Ag. NO3 is going to give us Ag plus, plus NO3 minus. Um, and so we had 0 0.020 moles of this guy. And our calcium chloride is going to give us calcium 2 plus, plus Cl minus. And we had uh, 0 0.015 moles. Now, um, we already know that, um, and this is in balance, so that should be two. Uh, we already know that we're going to use up, so we're gonna use up all of the silver, none of the nitrate. Uh, these are all one-to-one -one ratios here. And here we're going to get 0 0.015 moles of calcium 2 plus and 0 0.030 moles of Cl minus um, because we get a two we get two moles for each mole of calcium chloride. Um, so we're going to use up all of that and we're going to use up um, 0 0.020 moles of this, so we'll just have 0 0.010 moles left. Um, so that means uh, our concentration of calcium 2 plus um, 
is then going to be 0 0.015 moles in uh, so our total volume is now 200 mils because we've added 100 mils to 100 mils and then we're going to multiply this by a thousand mils per liter to put it into moles per liter and uh, if we run this through on our calculator uh, we'll get um, 0 0.075 molar um, so for a chlorine it's 0 0.010 moles over 200 mils times a thousand mils per liter which comes out to be 0 0.050 molar and then our concentration of nitrates is 0 0.020 moles over 200 mils 100,000 mils per liter to cancel and this comes out to be 0 0.1 uh, one. Zero. Polar. Yep. Okay. And so there's a concentration of uh, each of the ions present in solution after the reaction. Uh, so, okay, so we just have our mass, so that's okay. Uh, 2.9 grams, so 2.87. Yep, so that looks good. Um, we're missing our ion concentration. Um, so I'm going to say partially correct. Uh, missing uh, remaining ion concentrations. I don't think that's a super big deal though, so I'm just going to say it's correct.